Hey Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for July 12th to the 18th. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week, so take what resonates. Leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Um, yeah, let's see where we go. <laughs> we have yin and yang. I kind of feel like I need another card here. So we have yin and yang. We have door to personal healing and happiness. And we have storm warning. Interesting. I feel like you guys are actually like kind of leaving a situation that was kind of a little chaotic or that that phase of your life. If you're if you're just your life has felt chaotic, I, Pisces, I feel like you could be leaving that. Uh, but I, I do feel like you're kind of almost like there's a very different energy between the storm warning and then this like yin and the yang. So I almost feel like there's been a situation here where it's like whatever has like been destructive or falling apart. It's like now things are balancing out. They're going to be opening you up into a new phase, a new part of your life where it's like things are going to be a lot easier or just like feel a lot more abundant you're going to have a lot more happiness because I feel like you're in this yin and yang state. Like you're very balanced in this situation. Um, you could have even like learned a lot from this situation or kind of like really evolved here or you, yeah, you just like learned a lot, worked on yourself, done, did a lot of healing work. Some of you are going to be entering into that phase of healing after this like chaotic phase. What's going on for Pisces here? We have the Five of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Star, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Ace of Wands here at the bottom of the deck with the Devil, the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so... I feel like there's a situation, for some reason the bottom of the deck here is like really speaking to me today. There's like a need for you to fill up your own cup. I feel like there is maybe a codependent situation or like, I don't know, a situation that didn't work out with the five of cups. It didn't leave you feeling overly good. This could have been with like a specific person. This could have been you really trying to work on something that like just didn't really work out putting a lot of time and energy into it putting a lot of your passion your desire into it this could also have been like a relationship where um you know you were giving more emotionally to this situation and this person wanted more of like a casual relationship okay and so therefore it didn't really work out and there could have definitely been some sort of like I don't know, disagreement, but also more of just like, just not on the same page is more of kind of what I'm getting. Um, and I kind of see that here as well, like five of wands, the four of wands and the four of cups. It's like one person wanted a relationship and the other person like didn't. I feel like things just like, somebody could have definitely had a lot of options, but I also feel like somebody didn't want a relationship. Somebody wasn't looking for like four of cups, four of wands. It's like somebody wasn't getting what they wanted. I feel like both people weren't really getting what they wanted out of it because you're both on different what you both wanted was different if that makes any sense um and so i feel like that kind of created some conflict there definitely could have been like i'm seeing a lot of fire come out of this like dragon's mouth on the 501 so like there could have been like things said that like you know maybe some sort of argument or something like that right something where it's like you felt like you had to work really hard i almost feel for the little amount that you were getting back of what it is that you were looking for now in the current energy with the star the wheel of fortune the ten of cups like i said like you guys are there's something coming in here for you that's going to make you really happy and i feel like for a lot of you there is an element of healing here as well with the star so like literally door to personal healing and happiness like that can literally be summed up in these three cards right with the star the wheel of fortune ten of cups so it's like door to personal healing and happiness is opening with the wheel of fortune um so there's definitely a change coming in here in your life and i feel like it's going to give you a little bit of clarity here as well with the ace of swords we have the seven of pentacles the king of swords you could be dealing with i feel like in the past you're either dealing with like you had a Cap capricorn energy but also fire here as well with water which i feel like is more you guys um, and now I feel like 
they could be dealing with like an air sign or there's somebody if there is a person it's somebody else um I feel like there'll be clear communication. If this is not another person, though, this is just, like, you knowing what you want. And, like, investing your time and energy, Seven of Pentacles, into something that's actually going to reap some sort of reward. Like, you're being very analytical about, like, how you're going to achieve what it is that you are, you know, looking for. So, let's see. What's this Five of Wands in the recent past here for Pisces? What's this Five of Wands? The Knight of Cups. So again, like, it's almost like you weren't getting this Four of Cups offer. Like, you weren't getting that. And if it was, it was like a wolf in sheep's clothing, you know? Like, it wasn't really... You were offering, I feel, for a lot of you, this this l cup of love. Um, I just don't know if it was being reciprocated. Yeah, like I said, it was a lot of work. Ten of Wands. What's this Four of Cups? Also, it was a lot of work to get this person to open up to you emotionally, I feel, for as well. So the Four of Cups, we have the um, the Wheel of Fortune here, and we have the King of Wands, which kind of came out reverse with the Eight of Pentacles. So it's almost like you realize this person, like King of Wands reverse is definitely like kind of player energy. This is somebody who's like a bit more immature and doesn't really fulfill their king roles, even though they maybe look like a king. So I'm getting like a similar energy of this Ace of Wands, the devil energy, that King of Wands reverse, right? I think you're starting to like see that this isn't really leading in the direction that you want. And so that's where there's like some changes, Wheel of Fortune um, starting to come in. Some of you kind of removed your energy from this person as well and like started to work on yourself. What's the star here for, for Pisces? What's the star here for? We have the Emperor and the Nine of Wands in the reverse. I feel like you gave up on someone. Also, some of you are just like healing that aspect of yourself that's very powerful. So if this person kind of like knocked your confidence or you, if you've, like some of you, your masculine energy with this like yin and the yang, I feel like your masculine energy maybe hasn't been as strong or like that's maybe what you're needing to heal is more the more masculine side of yourself, right? So the, the taking action, the being assertive, like that sort of thing. Um, some of you are just trying to figure out what it is that you want in a person, like a partner. What's this emperor here for in reverse? The chariot. I feel like you're leaving this past person behind for a lot of you. Again, it's like you're giving up on this person or the situation and you're moving forward. It was just like a little blip on your radar. Yeah, page of pentacles, page of cups, like, or sorry, page of wands, page of cups. So it's like new people, new conversations. You could be going on dates with people. Again, like you're getting a lot of attention, six of wands. What's this uh, wheel of fortune here? I feel like as well with the star, because the star is very like, people are attracted to the star. So it's like you're standing out. We have the death card with the wheel of fortune. So again, the ending of something is bringing you towards this Ten of Cups. So I feel like if there's a situation here that you've had to leave behind, it didn't really work out, it was a lot of energy, a lot of effort, and you were like, screw it, I'm out. There's something better that's coming in here for you. What's this Ten of Cups? We have the Six of Cups reversed. So again, like leaving something behind. Some of you could have been dealing with a Scorpio in the past too. We have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant, a lot of reversals. Hierophant in reverse, Two of Pentacles. So some of you may have a choice. You could be dealing with a couple different people. Um, I do feel like you're not committing to the past. Because I feel like there's some, definitely a new opportunity. Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Six of Swords. Like you guys are moving on from... I feel like almost like struggle in relationships. I feel like you're moving on to something better, something more balanced. What's the Hierophant in reverse here for? The Five of Cups. Yeah, you're not you're not going back to... It's like you've learned the lesson with the Judgment card. It's like you're not going back to the past, this Five of Cups situation. And so I feel like you're really, um, again, balancing yourself out so that you're ready for this Ten of Cups, but also just like... A, like um, I want to say evaluating your situations as well with people 
But I think for a lot of you, you're finding your balance within yourself after this like kind of ending and that sort of thing, like letting this go. Because you're wanting something that brings you a lot more happiness. You're kind of like weighing your options, I want to say. What's this Ace of Swords here for Pisces? <laughs> the Ace of Swords. I've also been getting a lot of repeating cards this week. Um, and the Nine of Swords. So whatever you're unclear about, there will be clarity. Whatever you're stressed about, that's going to be, that's going to clear up for you. What's this uh, Seven of Pentacles? We have the Devil here. The Ace of Cups. And one more. What's the Devil here for? The Ten of Pentacles with the Sun. Okay, so I see this Devil energy is actually you being very committed to what it is that you're wanting to achieve. With the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, like you're looking, you're you're wanting um, and being very committed to the energy and the effort and the investment that you're putting into people and what people are putting into you. You know, like again, it's like you're being very strategic of like how do I achieve what it is that I'm looking for? Because I'm looking for happiness, right? I'm looking for happiness. I'm looking for a relationship. I'm looking for love. Um, and I think you kind of like. I think for a lot of re a lot of you, you recognize what's toxic or what's not working out here. What's this King of Swords here? Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, Six of Swords. So again, like intellectually, like uh, like mentally, you're really kind of like moving on from this past situation. A lot of you are also realizing where you like over invested your time or where you've kept yourself stuck. Like I feel like there's a lot of evaluation in the near future about like where you were and where you're wanting to go. Um, kind of a similar energy to um, cancer a little bit, but this is more about you moving on and healing yourself and mentally getting in a space where things are a lot better six of swords i feel like you're seeing where this three of swords seven of swords like where there was deception where you were maybe holding yourself back where things were unclear um where you got hurt and it's like now i need to move forward a lot of you too it's like not letting this past heartache like hold you back either right and in the bottom of the deck we have the magician here which is also air energy um you know talking about manifestation so creating your own reality it's like you're taking control back um in your life and your situation pisces so let's see what your advice is we have the nine of swords the three of cups and the seven of cups and then we have the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck i feel like your advice is like do what feels good do what feels ha like is happy for you. Do what feels nice, feels good with the Three of Cups. Like don't get in your own head about, I feel like the second you get into your head, things are going to get confusing. I also feel like if you think that there's, like if there's a lot of other people or options involved, like don't let that like overwhelm you. A lot of you are going to be like dating and talking to new people, Three of Cups, Seven of Cups. I feel like don't be so stressed about it because I feel like things will work out kind of as you need. If you, as you continue to do the healing work, you're going to start to see who fits and who doesn't, you know? Because I do see you talking to different people. Um, and with the Nine of Wands, it's like, let your guard down, right? There is a lot of healing energy. I've seen a lot of this Queen of Pentacles, which is all about like nurturing yourself, looking after yourself. And so I feel like there's an element here of with the nine of swords, the three of cups and the seven of cups. It's like, don't let these options or these things overwhelm you. Don't let your emotions overwhelm you. Don't let your emotions kind of take control or get it, get, get you in your head. But I do see, even if you do get in your head, there is going to be clarity here because the nine of swords came out with this ace of swords twice here. So things will get better for you. You are going to achieve what you want, especially with those two Ace of Swords. So I see things working out. I just feel like you could maybe get a little trapped emotionally and stuck in your head. I feel like you just need to keep doing the healing work and keep kind of moving forward and figuring out what it is that you want and keep focusing on moving through this kind of portal into this space of being more balanced. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Uh, let me know down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.